In real life, I am very famous. What's up, guys? This is Shay. No, we're gonna try that over. We're gonna try that over. Hey there, it's Shay. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe. And if you're not, thank you for returning. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. I decided, since I don't know what to film, we're just going to film this. We are going to make a get ready with me video. Okay. Because I figured, why not? Why not? You know? somebody's gonna care somebody's gonna watch this you know we can i guess just talk a little bit about life everything going on so yeah we're gonna get ready to do absolutely nothing that's where we're at right now in life absolutely nothing i've already washed my face i really need to put my hair up so, I think I'll go ahead and do that. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Okay, so now that we finally have the hair pulled back a little bit, we can go on ahead and get started. Yeah, I mean, I think I'm just gonna wear the, um, the foundation that I recently uh, reviewed, the uh, It Cosmetics Foundation. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna use the smoothing primer from Tarte because Lord knows, man, Lord knows. Ugh. Oh, okay, but what's been new, guys? Um, right now where I am located, it is like what 80 90 degrees today so it is very very hot um and that's just it's just not cute not cute at all okay work has been pretty slow um not much going on you know it's really weird because i feel like every single month since we've been open i go through like these random spurts of people you know trying to um get their hair done and then next thing you know i'm like not busy anymore so you know it's like the weirdest thing ever to me but yeah it's just been super weird man like just everything that's been going on where it's still like socially unacceptable to not do anything or to do anything i should say um yeah this whole thing it's just so weird like everything is so strange can't go out without a mask on people upset because they have to wear a mask i mean like i just feel like this country is so ghetto I feel like everything is so ghetto right now just just how everything is being handled how everything is like like y'all i really want to go to the movies and i know that the movie theater is supposed to open up and everything but i like don't want anybody to be upset that i went to the movies you know because it's not like i live by myself i don't live by myself so you know i try not to i try not to go out too much i try not to I try not to go out too much. I don't want to bring anything home. I mean, my current job is already pretty, it's pretty risky, you know, dealing with strangers, even though I'm seeing one person at a time, it's still, it's still not um, a super duper safe job in regard to like my health and catching this here virus. But you want to know what is weird to me? The school debate. You know, everybody just in their feelings about school starting and, oh no, 
children need to go back to school, yada, yada, yada. But you know what I think? I think that there are so many people who literally hate their husbands, hate their kids. And so they're using school as like a getaway, pretty much to just not have to deal with their kids. But, but that's besides the point. I ain't got no kids, so hey, I don't know. I don't know. I just think that we should be asking how our teachers feel about it before we make any rash decisions, you know what I mean? But aside from that, now, life has been pretty freaking boring, can't lie, okay? Like, not being able to do anything when you want to. Like, right now, I would love to catch a freaking flight. But you know what the problem is? Again, it is still not socially acceptable. And, you know, you could argue that you shouldn't care about what other people think and just do what's best for you and yada 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 and I totally agree but it's it's still just like it can wait you know traveling can wait the countries I want to see the states I want to see they will always be there you know unless they get like an explosion and completely destroyed but you know, I don't foresee that happening anytime soon for where I want to go, but I mean, you never know. You never really know. You just kind of have to go with God on like everything in life now. As if we weren't already doing that before, but now it's crazy, man. But how's everyone else doing with everything going on, you know? Like, I know that um, they say that every one in three Americans right now is depressed. And all I have to say is, I understand why. I understand why, you know? But you know, every one in three, that's a pretty big number. That's a pretty big number, and I think that that's something that we should be talking about. This is very, that is a very alarming number. And you know what? I believe, I completely believe that we have that many people depressed because, you know, my entire Facebook feed now is full of just a lot of people admitting they're depressed, people just not feeling good, people just, you know upset that they can't do anything and this is definitely this is definitely something worth talking about and I think that we should be talking about it more like why are we not talking about this country's mental state more you know Yeah, I mean, I just hope that one day, one day all of this will just be a dream. <laughs> I hope that one day all this just goes away. Like, if that means we need a vaccine, if that means that, I don't know. I really don't know because you know what my problem is? There's so much going on and they still don't have like all the information that they need to figure out what this virus is, honestly. So, it's kinda sad, it's kinda, it's really, really sad that we are all collectively, like, as an entire planet, just in this mess. And in some places it's worse than others, and, you know, everything is just strange right now, just strange. Well, in other news and lighter news, um, Cardi and Megan just went gold with their new song, WAP. Um, how do y'all feel about their song? How do y'all feel about it? Because me, I am not a super big fan of it, to be quite honest. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like, you know, women should rap and sing about whatever they want. But, I don't know, so I'm just ain't my cup of tea, personally. Mm -hmm. 
And also it's like, I don't like a whole lot of vulgar words in a song. Like I don't like anything super duper suggestive and it doesn't matter if it's a male or female artist. I, that's just not the type of music I personally like listening to, even though, you know, I'm happy that their song is doing well. Yeah, this is probably one of my favorite highlighters. This is the um, Omrezy highlighter. From Anastasia. Yeah, the Omrezy highlighter from Anastasia. You know, I've been hearing so much about this brand. Just so much weird stuff like like just everything that they've been doing about Norvina and the PR search she put a bunch of people on the PR list and the next thing you know most people were taken off they added new people you know just having launch after launch after launch and I wasn't I wasn't even paying attention to everything until I saw a video um what's her channel name uh too much mouth i think i think that's her channel i was watching her video earlier today and she made some very valid points that i wasn't even i wasn't even paying attention to but yeah it was just really interesting just seeing like how the company really is going downhill especially with um norvina as president But that just goes to show you, I mean, Norvina is, you know, Anastasia's daughter, but it doesn't really seem like Norvina is taking the brand in the right direction. I mean, just seeing how dirty she did these uh, influencers, Jackie Aina, and even uh, Carly Bybel, I mean, I mean, yeah, their palettes, like Jackie's palette did really, really well last year, won awards and everything else. And next thing you know, they're not promoting it and they're dropping something else. So yeah, y'all would just have to check out that video. She spills all the tea, all the tea, sis. Today, apparently, uh, I'm supposed to have crab legs later on today. You know, me personally, I think seafood is like the most amazing thing ever in life. And I just think you can't go wrong with it, you know? Like, for people who are allergic to seafood, I just feel so sorry for people who are allergic to seafood because it's like, how can you be allergic to something so magically delicious, man? Like, what? That's crazy talk. Ooh, so I went to a winery the other day. Um, Cause again, I don't really go out too much. I personally like to do outdoorsy stuff. Is outdoorsy a word? I don't think that's a word, but whatever. We just made it up. But um, yeah, I like to do things that are more so outdoors when I do go out now. Because, you know, apparently it's supposed to be like safer, I guess. And then I don't have to wear a mask outdoors, which is like wonderful. Because, you know, it's not that I have, like, a huge issue with wearing a mask. Like, I'm not going to protest it, obviously. But, you know, they're just in the way. <laughs> and when I say in the way, they're just... 
I don't know, just not what I really want to wear. But you know, I actually, I care about the health and safety of not just myself, but other people. So again, this is not something I am going to fight like. It would just be nice if everything could just go back to normal, you know? Yeah, and like, please don't mind my eyelashes. I know they look like who did it and why. I need to get them done again. Okay. But, you know, kind of, again, this is just a little, it's a little slow. So I have other obligations, other priorities to take care of, which involve buying things for my room. That's just the cost of having your own business. I mean, it's a lot of sacrifice. Sometimes you have to sacrifice, you know, not just your social life, but your personal grooming. So it is what it is. And you know, can we just talk about that real quick? Because there are so many people who just assume that, oh, because you have all this free time, now you're supposed to like start a business? Like what? No. Why do people make it sound like this thing is supposed to be so freaking easy all the time? That's what, that's what I don't get and I personally take offense to because this isn't easy. Are you kidding me? Ain't nobody telling you about the times they cried and it could have happened the night before. Like, come on. All right, so I think with this, I am going to spray. I have so much setting spray that I don't even know which one I want to use at the time. But I think I want to use the Beauty Bakery setting spray because I like their setting spray. It smells good. And I don't know. I really like this one. I mean, I don't know, it's it's a very fragranced um, setting spray, so uh, I think I tried Huda's in the um, in Sephora, like when it first came out, and I know that people were complaining about how strong it was, but I don't know. That one is strong, but uh, for me, it's like if you have some, if you have like more sensitive skin, you probably won't like that. Um, and I'm trying to figure out what to do with my hair. But I think I'm just going to use some oil and call it a day because I don't feel like styling it, you know? Like, I just want to wear it in its natural texture. Mostly because, you know, the rain here has been like on and off today. So I don't know if it's going to rain later. I'm not trying to really get caught up in that and then get mad because I'm caught up in it. But this could use some nice oil because chow. I mean, look how wonderful we just brought this to life. It's amazing what some oil can do for you, honey. And now on this side versus this side. This one is looking like mad dry. This one is looking like mad shiny, at least to me. I don't know about y'all. Oh, and the oil that I just used is from Unite. Um, I bought this years ago when I was working at a different salon and we were carrying Unite and I actually, like, I love that oil on this hair. I really, really do. 
So, but yeah, so this is my get ready with me video. I don't really know how to end this video. Um, hopefully we had something to talk about today. Um, y'all can spill whatever tea y'all got in the comments. But yeah, I figured today we would film this because, you know, I'm going to let you guys in on a little secret, okay? In real life, I am very famous. I am very famous. And I'm just waiting for the rest of the world to catch up and recognize how famous I am. But uh, yeah, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. And hopefully my next video will be a little bit more interesting than watching me get ready. But again, I hope we, I really hope we had something to talk about here. So if you made it this far, if you made it this far, let me know what your favorite seafood is in the comments. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video.